Well, I think the word of the day is methodical. Um, we're going to continue to make a significant dent in California's budget deficit. There are still a number of cut bills that uh, can be uh, taken up, as they say, either with a two-thirds vote or a majority vote. And we intend to proceed. Last night we made, yesterday and last night, we made $7 billion worth of cuts. And today uh, we want to try to tackle uh, about the same number going forward. And there are obviously still key questions, including whether the people are going to have the right to vote and avoid uh, even deeper cuts to education and to public safety. But we uh, want to demonstrate that we are serious about this deficit reduction and we are, are going to continue to proceed and do our jobs. Uh, as I said yesterday, people say, well, geez, why would you make the cuts before there's an agreement on the tax extensions? Because the cuts are not part of any deal. It's a 25 plus billion dollar deficit. We have to, we have to make cuts and, uh, and we expect in the end that our Republican colleagues will not deny people the right to, to vote to determine uh, whether to extend existing taxes for five years or to make cuts that I don't think many of them would stand by. So did special elections vote today? I'm sorry? Special elections vote today. No, I don't know that we'll actually take that up. We're going to, our view, this, you know, you talk to the speaker, of course, is that we are going to, you know, we're going to be pack men and women. We're going to, uh, we are going to make big dents in this deficit every day. And uh, that's how we're going to proceed. Go. Which road is that, Mike? Well, I'm not sure that's uh, that's true. That they've given no indication. At least five members have publicly stated that they uh, are willing to talk. If you looked at Tom Berryhill's comments uh, in the Los Angeles Times blog the day before yesterday, he said very clearly that another. 12, 13, 15 billion dollars worth of cuts would be devastating to California. So, uh, you know, the, the truth of the matter is that the plan before us today is the only plan being talked about. It's the only reasonable plan. Look what happened yesterday in the assembly with the Republicans. You had the vast majority of assembly Republicans fail to vote for cuts. And to me, it's very simple. If you're not for cutting and you're not for giving people the right to extend taxes, we might as well have an empty seat because that's not governing. And so in the end, it's choices. And the most fair choice is cuts that are necessary, painful, Secretary, and giving the people the right to vote. And that's the path we're going to continue to pursue. And we're going to do, we're going to continue to march down uh, and in a methodical way, reduce this deficit and uh, fight to make sure that these cuts are not any deeper. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.